Okay, so this is a follow-up to my sizing your solar system video. Um, I want to first acknowledge a couple things. A couple uh, commenters uh, uh, mentioned that uh, I said that watts equals volts times amps was Ohm's law. Uh, apparently, I was mistaken. That's not Ohm's law. Um, I don't really know what that is. It's just a rule, I guess. So, sorry. Uh, not Ohm's law. <laughs> um, uh, but it's still legitimate nonetheless. Watts does equal volts times amps. Um, so when I was giving all the formulas and I was saying how, you know, I'm sizing my, my system because, uh, uh, to, be, to regenerate at five kilowatt hours per day and I'm only using three, um, so it more than compensates. You know, I didn't explicitly say this, but part of the reason is because there's a loss um, in the charging of the batteries. If the if the uh, charge controller is able to send five kilowatt hours to the batteries in a day, um, there is a loss of somewhere I guess around twenty percent is what I've been told. Don't you know take that don't uh, take that with a grain of salt. I haven't confirmed that, but there definitely is a loss factor to how much of those kilowatt hours actually gets transferred into those batteries. So you know the bottom line is you know oversize you know by at least twenty percent there. So maybe 25%. Uh, the, the, the more you oversize, the better, but just, you know, oversize at least a little bit. You know, I'm trying to, you know, m describe this in a way that's like, you know, it, it's, it's not as technical as maybe it needs to be, but in a way that people can understand easily. And, uh, you know, I'm leaving some things out in that process. Um, but my explanation is definitely good enough to, to get a system together or to decide how big of a system you need to get. And that's what I was aiming to do.